Welcome, one and all, to the C9 Corvette Theater, where we will show you a few clues that the C9 might be on the horizon. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Road Odyssey. I'm Burke. Hope you're having a nice day. And could there be a C9 ninth generation Corvette on the horizon? Well, more than likely, there will be. There's not right now. We're still in the middle of the C8. But what the heck? It doesn't stop the news outlets from speculating as to what the future might hold for us. Now, I have gathered together, I would say, five primary clues as to the what, where, when, and how of the C9 Corvette. Thought I would share this with you and just let you think about it. See what you think. So, anyway, C9 Corvette out there on the horizon already possibly being designed. So let's see what uh, the clues could be. Here we go. Quite a while back, I made a video making fun of some of these C9 Corvette renderings, especially front engine with the smoke and tailpipes. But I am still seeing C9 Corvette articles popping up. So let's get into the C9 Corvette theater, spin that wheel of fortune, and see what these five clues could be. Clue number one. GM transferred key members of the Corvette team to the company's autonomous and electric vehicles programs on September 1st, 2020. This was a significant move that could imply changes to the Corvette's future as a fully electric car. According to Ken Morris, VP of Autonomous and Electric Vehicles, the team was gathered and assigned to redefine supercar performance, design, and attainability of future EVs. Now, even before that occurred, they had moved the quote-unquote father of the Camaro, Al Oppenheiser, to the EV development. For GM to move all of the performance car talent over to EV, does it absolutely mean that the Corvette is going through a alteration right now to be fully electric? But it could. Time to move from this interesting group of people to clue number two. The C8 Corvette program is in the middle of tightening emissions restrictions. The ramping up of electrification resulting from global environmental concerns has made the ICE vehicles the villain and the electric vehicles the hero. GM is certainly going to be a part of the electric vehicle trend. GM has invested a huge amount of money in this direction. They are committed to all electric by 2035. The GM leaders can't say enough about the electric future. It is doubtful, with all the interest still in sports cars and supercars, that the Corvette will be dust in the wind. We already believe that the C8 E-Ray will be a hybrid. Therefore, we can safely assume that this is the time that the C9 could move towards all electrification. Looking at any current list of electric cars from GM, you might notice that the Camaro could even be in the lineup. The Hummer and the Silverado pickup are essentially here already. Clue number three. Clue number three directly ties in to clue number two, where you have all of these people teaming up to work on something new. This is a repeat in history. Back in 2014, when the C7 was introduced, the Corvette team was split 
to have one set working on the C7 submodels and the other half working on the C8 six years before it was introduced. If we are truly seeing an overlap in the teams working between the C8 and these EVs, which could comprise the C9 Corvette, then this here is yet another clue. Clue number four. Clue number four is probably a big misunderstanding. In an apparent leak reported by GMTrucks.com, it was said that the next generation Corvette will be an electric all-wheel drive and it should be introduced starting in 2024. Well, this really is odd. It's probably something that's confused with the E-Ray and so therefore that's what this really has to be but it still means that people are talking about all electric for the near future. Clue number five. This survey to the C8 customers about an electrical vehicle has been all over the news recently. One of the questions that GM asked participants was if they would like a silent start option for an electric vehicle. The news outlets are extrapolating to a huge degree that this must refer to an electric sports car that is coming up in the future, regardless of whether or not it's the C9 Corvette or an electric Camaro, it, it doesn't matter. The articles are running with this and saying that this must have something to do with the C9 Corvette for real. Personally, I think here again, just like clue number four, this is not a great clue. I really can't say that any of these clues have any value in regards directly to the C9 Corvette. We could be looking at the prehistory of a C9 Corvette that would be the first ever all electric. That would be pretty interesting. And it would definitely follow the trend of especially, you know, the supercar makers. If this was to happen, most of these articles, when I filter through them, seem to indicate that this C9 could maybe not so much debut, but solidify somewhere around 2026, but certainly before 2035. Some articles predict that the C9 would be produced alongside the C8. Well, that didn't happen between the C7 and the C8, so I really don't think that that would happen in this case either. Alright, that'll do it for this weird video. Ninth generation Corvette, hmm, maybe. I mean, it's really not far-fetched. So, with that, relax, take it easy, and I will see you later, possibly shaven. Bye.